What is up, Crackhead Nation? It's your girl, Princess Galaxy, and I'm here with my crazy hair. This is a crazy hair day for me. To tell you guys about the top tips for short people at K-pop concerts, really any concert in general, but you know, I'm keeping to the theme of the channel, okay? So first, I'm gonna talk about tickets, like the best placements for short people, like in an arena or a stadium. And next, I'm gonna talk about what you can do to increase your hype for a concert. So. If you're interested in that, keep watching the video and let's get into it. First, real quick, I just wanna say um, thank you guys for 15,000 subscribers. It's really cool and awesome. And woohoo, yeah, I know I make the K-pop, you know, club reaction videos and things like that. So that's where a lot of my new subscribers are came from, but hope you guys just enjoy the general K-pop concert vibes that I have. And I also have a playlist link below that you guys can check out. And this video is also sponsored by Mercari. So if you guys don't know, Mercari is my favorite marketplace for buying stuff online. I'm a huge Lululemon girl and I'm a huge Skims girl. So that means I'm kind of basic. I'm just basic that's okay and literally I have found so many amazing deals on Mercari it's insane I was able to get a black pair of Lululemon leggings that usually retail for like a hundred dollars I got them for $19 guys like this is not a joke like I love Mercari I've been using Mercari for years so if you guys want to sign up today you'll get $10 from me off your next purchase and also if you start like you know selling stuff on the website you also get like incentives and credits for that so check out the link in the description and yeah thank you for supporting the channel these are my best strategies so i'm speaking in terms of like arenas and stadiums okay if you are going to like a kind of small venue where like it's just like main floor seating like Oregon Ballroom in Chicago for example I would recommend you to get there as soon as possible for like general admission or anything like that because the closer you are to the stage the better view you're gonna get and that's gonna be the same kind of concept throughout all of these kind of like advice that I'm giving you is that if you can be closest to the stage as possible like you should definitely do that okay that's really important so for an arena I would recommend um, if you're gonna have floor seats which I don't really recommend for short people like I know it's not okay it's a little it's a little shortest I know but I really don't recommend floor seats for short people if you are going to be on the floor whether it's general admission or just regular seats you need to be like by the stage which might be difficult for some but like if you guys have rows and things like that if you are like if you are in a section like right by the stage you need to at least be in the first three rows like this is not a joke because otherwise like you you're just not gonna be able to see anything so definitely if you're gonna be on the floor try to go for the first few rows um in the sections that are right next to the stage this also applies to stadiums as well because they're floor seats you know also the best seats for arenas and stadiums are not just going to be on the floor by the stage but also in the 100 sections kind of like the lower bowl i don't know how to describe it but it's like i'll show you like a little picture or whatever but it's like that part that's kind of like around the arena or the stadium and i would go for those sections that are right by the stage those are just good seats in general like i don't i don't really like it doesn't matter if it's a floor seat or not it all depends on how close you are to the stage so even if you're no matter what section you're in or matter how high or low you are in the stadium or arena it's always important to have those seats that are closest to the stage so those are going to be amazing and they're gonna be the best tickets for the shorties. Now, when you're in these, like, say like section one, 110 something and it's gonna be near the stage, you're gonna wanna make sure that even if you are at a section that's like near the stage, um, no matter what level, you wanna be in the first few rows. Now, at a place like Soldier Field, for example, cause I'm thinking about Taylor and Soldier Field and everything, if you're in one of the sections that are closer to the stage, it's okay, like, if you're like say the three or four hundreds and you're not in the front row because it's so it's so high up like it's so like you know leaning it's gonna be you know it's not gonna matter but in the 100 sections and like sections that are closest to the floor you're definitely gonna want to be right in the first few rows so i would definitely recommend that and i know a lot of people are probably thinking how am i gonna be able to choose a seat already it's already hard to get tickets look when you are buying a ticket you should have a general idea of where you want to be number one your budget number two and 
you know, where you want to be uh, near the stage or how accessible you want to be. Um, I would also recommend like maybe row seats as well. It might be inconvenient because people are going to be trying like getting in and out and everything. But you will have like, even if there's someone tall in front of you, you'll be able to like move around them and like have more room for viewing. So that's also, you know, just a little tip. The next big thing that I feel like a lot of short people, like men, women, like non-binary, like anyone, like no one ever does this, but you guys need to start wearing like, shoes that give you more height okay i give you permission if i could give you i'm five six if i could give you some inches i totally would but unfortunately i can't so you have to do that on your own i mean truly investing in a comfortable shoe that you will break in before the concert okay i cannot stand people who buy shoes for concerts and then they only wear them the day of the concert no you need to break these puppies in for like a week or two before the concert make sure that they're like you know they don't have to be like Doc Martens. They can be something that matches your aesthetic, that matches your style for the concert. Just anything but stilettos. Anything but high heels. You know, things like that. You might be able to get away with a wedge shoe. Um, I would not do it. <laughs> I just would not do it. Like, because you're already putting up, especially if you're not used to wearing like heels and like things like that you don't wear them on the regular like mo i feel like most people just don't anymore like this is not a um this is a cultural thing like people don't really in america do that anymore even when you're like working like going to an office job or something so i honestly recommend to you know just go in that direction of finding a comfortable shoe that will give you height that also matches your vibe i have a crap ton of shoes that i linked in my Amazon store, it's like a whole bunch of like wedge shoes that add like three, four, five inches. And they range from, you know, things like Crocs, you know, if you like Crocs, you want like a true comfortable shoe to, you know, like Converse and other like brands that I saw, I was like, oh, like, you know, there's a lot of different styles for, you know, platform shoes. Like definitely invest, like I said, in just a comfortable shoe that is going to give you inches. like just do it like it, it's okay it's not illegal like you can do that <laughs> like no one's behind you like like imagine me you know there's someone five feet tall i'm five six they wear platform shoes that are like six or seven inches tall i'm not gonna i'm not gonna talk shit you know what i mean like i understand the situation okay like this is real this is dire so look i totally get it but at the same time just get a shoe get a shoe that will give you inches. I have a crap ton, like I said, linked in my Amazon store in the description. Um, definitely check that out because I've curated, like I spent hours like curating. I'm like, okay, which aesthetic is like most popular and like which shoes will people actually wear to concerts with their cute outfits? Like, you know what I mean? So um, that doesn't have to be a deterrent for you. Also, if you have a shoe that you already are really interested in or you just really don't wanna buy another pair of shoes, honestly, cause I get it, you know, trying to, I guess, save money and stuff like that. I would recommend getting insoles for your shoes. I also linked a few in the description as well. So definitely check those out as well. Um, I really think that those are good for, you know, people who just want a little bit of height. It also depends on like your shortness and how comfortable you are being high off the ground or like higher off the ground than you usually are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like kind of like, whoa, I'm, I'm taller now. Yeah, welcome to the club, girl. <laughs> so that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is pretty short, um, just like the people that I'm talking about. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any other tips for short people, leave them in the comments. Like I said, I'm not short, but I have, you know, I have short friends. I've, you know, gone through this journey with them of, you know, trying to figure out, girl, like, what, what are we gonna do with you? You know what I mean? Like, and I've also been to so many concerts. I've been almost 30 concerts now. That is nuts, by the way. And I have just seen so many short people. Like every time I can, you know, kind of give up my spot for a short person to see or move, like I'll do it. Um, you know, they they didn't ask to be born five feet tall. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching and like the video if you liked it and check out my other playlist of concert tips and things like that. Like I said, I've been talking about K-pop concerts for like what, three, four years now? <gasps> That's insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you soon. Bye.